You are watching the Prime Target Security Channel, exclusively on YouTube. I'm Cocky Monk Snarkin, and you are watching the Prime Directive. Hope you're buckled up, folks. Today's show is about the big picture. So many of us are too busy going to work, running a household and updating our Facebook status to pay attention to what is going on in the world. The mainstream media we are fed on a daily basis is no help either, providing you with only tailored content. Tailored content keeps you feeling like you've been informed while avoiding critical issues. Why is this? Because most news companies derive their salaries from big, corporate douchebag advertisers who just happen to lobby for bills, wars and agendas that news avoids telling you about. Once you realize the world is like a stage prop, designed to keep you happy enough to be productive, you'll notice the props all around you. Crafted media, staged incidents, illegal wars and a designed implosion of the world's economy. What? You heard me. Designed. Don't believe me? Let's take a talk down Thinker Street for a moment. From the time man first realized he liked to be safe, sheltered, fed and fuckered. We have gathered in groups. From tribes and clans, to villages and cities. We have always elevated people to governess. People that are smarter and stronger than us, others who can think for us. So from the beginning of time, people have been leading people. When that leadership flips a script, it becomes control. Better yet, it becomes tyranny. Control is nothing new, humans have always wanted control over others and we get it. Every authority figure has the ability to become a tyrant. Look at all the tyrants currently running countries here on earth. Do you think that magically stops at our borders? Well do you? The answer is no, and that brings me back to the planned demise I began with. A new enemy for a new age is ringing our doorbell. Not another country, no no. This enemy is an idea. The idea that civilization needs a course correction. You all heard me correctly. I said, a course correction. Essentially changing the future of our planet and the human race. You see, for many years, multi-generational eugenics studies have predicted with great accuracy, our current and future population problems, along with the current downfall of our society. They also go on to note a progressive decline in the human race both physically and mentally, claiming an intervention is required. These studies are heavy on data and light on facts, since they have always been paid for, by corporations and governments that have pushed for population reduction in their past. The same people whose products, laws, and actions greatly impact these studies now use them to recruit participants in their big idea. If you are not with this movement, you're against it. Nations and citizens who oppose this idea will be considered rogue, and dealt with accordingly. Many groups are biding for their piece of this future. Governments, banks, industrialists, globalists and the list goes on and on. But where to start? Many blame the power of secret societies, and how they might and most likely direct many of the people involved with this new future. But since all knowledge of them is simply whispers and rumor, it can't be regarded as fact. We can only look at the facts in front of us before we start speculating anything. So if you're an average American, you have noticed two major changes over the last decade. Increases in security, and decreases in the economy. No big deal if you're a well-off citizen who fits into the system nicely. Anyone outside the box, like patriots and protesters, like the lower and middle classes or anyone who is dependent on the government for food or medicine are all, at great risk. Anyone hindering the progress of this idea for the future, will be considered threats or liabilities. People have tried and failed to conquer the world in the past, but the architects of this idea have actually began succeeding in their goals for a future of control and order. Where a population total is imposed, where status in life is decided, where genetics determines worth, and where the main goals in life are to work, spend, consume and die before you're a burden. Phase 1, governments worldwide are controlled by corporations and banks. You can see the domestic landscape changing here in America and abroad due to their tactics already. 
manufacturing jobs pushed overseas, banks allowed to ruin our currency, corporations allowed to buy our politicians, privileges for the rich, radical changes to the constitution behind the veil of protecting us from an invisible enemy, vicious treatment of those who protest government actions, and leaders who constantly lie and start false wars. It has begun. The fallout from phase one is just beginning to impact the public. Changes in rules, taxes and the economy has allowed Americans to take on massive debts both business and private. It has left massive areas of property undervalued and vacant. It has also changed many comfortable lives into ones of survival. As the world economies begin to crash, food shortages will occur, services will become intermittent, crime will thrive and the world will scream for a fix. That fix is one world government under the United Nations. That fix is a new world currency, and that fix is a total crackdown on society. Work details, forced labor, re-education, FEMA camp housing and blunt force control by military police. Oh I did forget to mention, they may kickstart such a changeover, with a large event that scares the hell out of the world. Just as 9-11 sent fear to the far reaches. So will an event of this nature only much much bigger in scale, most likely some kind of terror attack. To recap. In phase one, governments the world over are now at the mercy of mega banks. Laws and regulations are being enacted to squeeze and control the public. Property is devalued and then bought up. Water, food and natural resource assets are being acquired to support the coming future. Wealth is leaving the lower classes rapidly, all the while, the fat cats keep getting fatter. These are the beginnings of change for the landscape of the world in order to transform it into one of control and obedience. But we've only mentioned phase one. Phase two is nearing completion as well. Phase two involves the placement of infrastructure to accommodate this planned future. Throughout America you can find field armories, command centers, and FEMA camps stashed away in all states. Our police and soldiers have been trained for martial law. Foreign troops are stationed within our borders. Our highway system is being privatized, secret prisons, executions without trials, and the list keeps on going and going. So with phases 1 and 2 nearly completed, we wonder about the status of phase 3, the final stage. Round 3 is expected to be the catalyst that shakes the country and the world, causing chaos everywhere. This event will make you want to run toward these ideas for your well-being. How long until the last stage begins? Only the architects know. What can we do to stop it? Nothing. Rebelling brings it on faster, good politicians get dead, and there is too much money to be made from this change up to stop it. But, now that you know, you can prepare for this looming future if you're against a sterile, controlled world arising from the ashes of what was once our country. I'm cocky monk snarkin and I just broke you off some serious info, so do the same and pass this video around. Thumbs up and please subscribe. This has been the Prime Directive, thank you for watching. See you around.